Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So since a couple of days, I've been super busy, was not well as well. So had to do my work and as well as some of the side projects. So been super busy. So wasn't able to build anything significantly big. By big, I mean at least around 20, 30 minutes. But then I think this video is still will be really helpful since um, many of us want to build masonry layout, but it's really difficult using Flexbox, even with grid also, this is really difficult. And then also, if you want to build a masonry layout, if you use floats, floats are kind of annoying. So we need a simpler way to build a masonry layout. So in this video, we're gonna be learning one-liner trick to build a masonry layout. So without any delay, let's get started and let's learn how to build this. So here I am in my index.html file wherein I have this gallery div with a bunch of image tags with the source that I got from Pinterest. First, let's understand what is a masonry layout. So if we visit Pinterest, so here we have Pinterest open. So you would see that the row of the images are not in a straight line. So if we leave the first row, you would see the second, third, fourth, or whatever row, you would see that the row is not in a straight line. And then you would also see that the images, they don't leave any space. So right after one ends, the next one automatically attaches itself right next to it. So this is what the masonry layout is. Now this is really difficult using Flexbox and Grid as well. Unless if you use floats, I think this is uh, relatively easier using floats. But we don't use floats, it's really complicated. So, so I'll be showing you one CSS line that is really helpful and gets this done. So in my CSS, I don't have much. I've just set the width to 100% object fit to contain. Let's look at the website. So this is how it is as of now. So if I were to write, let's say I write display, uh, let's start with the gallery. Display flex. All right, if you see that now these are um, in row, let's add flex wrap to wrap. Width of the image is 100%, so they take entire width. So let's remove this for a second. Now you'd see that this is not helpful. We have a bunch of space here, so flex can't really get it done. Now let's try grid. So here if I write grid and let's add grid template columns let's repeat we want three equal sizes so even this even this can't get the job done let's add here the width of 100 percent if you look at that uh, we have a bunch of space here so this is not helpful as well so what we can do is we can type here columns we can go to column count and we can specify how many columns we want. So let's say we want three columns. Let's save and boom. You see, just specifying the column count automatically adjusts the images into a masonry layout. This is really cool, but if I were to shrink the size, they're not responsive. So for mobile screens, this is, uh, you might think that this is not responsive, but we can get over this. So instead of specifying the number of columns, we can specify the width of the column. So we can specify here the columns and we can specify the width, let's say 320 pixels because for mobile screens, 320 is I think the smallest. So let's add here columns 320 pixels. So now you would see that for your PC or the desktop screens, you'd see that it takes 320 pixels and then if you have enough space for another one it will bring in another column and if you don't have it would just stretch out the first itself or maybe add one more it just depends on how much space you have and then it automatically adjusts itself hopefully you guys uh, liked it if you liked it please comment down what you liked about it and if you already knew about this or not and yeah if you're new to the channel if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe turn the notifications bell share this channel with your friends and family and yeah meet you guys in the next one until then bye bye